Mr. Shehzad Punawala. You've been hearing what Arvind Kejriwal has said. He's saying, A, he's not resigning. B, he believes this is vindictive. And the entire opposition has come around to back him on this question, claiming that this entire operation that has been done, according to the opposition, is part of vindictive politics using the Enforcement Directorate and PMLA powers. Your response. As far as the vindictive question is concerned, is Mr. Kejriwal implying that the Honorable Judge right now, the Supreme Court which denied bail to Mr. Manish Sisodia, the High Court which denied bail to Sanjay Singh, and the other courts which denied bail to your friend Vijay Nair for over last one year are all vindictive? And the fact is that the Congress Party itself started this investigation. Here's the Congress complaint. There's also a report of Mr. Pawan Kheda saying that the entire liquor scam has only taken place because the Congress started the probe. And yours truly on the panel, Mrs. Supriya, Ms. Supriya Srinath, was one of the most vocal voices talking about the corruption of Mr. Kejriwal. I don't want to embarrass her by playing her clip. I'm sure that you also remember, I saw your show two, three days ago where my colleague Ajay Alok was there. And you were trying to expose the double speak of TDP and BJP. TDP was saying all sorts of things about the Prime Minister. I thought today your show's preface would have had what Congress used to say. It's Mr. coming. Marker, it's Mr. coming. Shehzad, hold Mr. your horses. Uh, Mr. Punawala, hold your horses. Don't worry. It's Rajdi, coming. Rajdi, please you don't focus interrupt on the question. Me. No. Focus Rajdi, on the question. Do not Rajdi, tell me how to run the show, Mr. Punawala. Do not focus on the question, please. Rajdeep, before having level playing field elsewhere, you start having level playing field in your show where you allow the BJP to complete and where you also have BJP and the opposition panelists in similar Sankhya. But anyways, you also want to play the role of not an anchor, but sometimes defend in support of Congress party. That's your choice. Okay. Anyways, your Mr. Punawala, my new rule is if you make personal jibe, you stop. Sorry, I will now turn to the next. You you do not wish to have answer my question. You I don't to expect any jibes. better from you. You made a personal jibe. I jibes. don't expect any better from okay, you because good. you don't have let's the courage to listen to the truth. Okay, let's you go You don't on. have the courage Mr. to listen to the put, truth. Put his fader down. Priyanka Kakkar, you respond to what you are hearing. First, you tell us a chief minister, Mr. Uh, Ms. Priyanka Kakkar, who is now in ED custody, is insisting I will continue as chief minister. I will not resign. What's the message you're sending out? Someone who said that he was an anti-corruption activist crusader now in a corruption case has been arrested, denied bail as of now, and says, I will not resign as chief minister. What's the message you're sending out, Ms. Kakkar? Good evening to everyone, Rajdeep Ji. The message is very clear. We are not going to buckle down under pressure from the BJP. The BJP in 2018, as you very well know, Made, uh, uh, made certain am amendments to the PMLA Act, which revived the unconstitutional provision, uh, which was previously declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court, Section 45. It revived this unconstitutional provision. Therefore, mm -hmm. getting a bail in a PMLA Act under the PMLA laws is next to impossible now, unless you are somebody like Ajit Pawar or Chagat Mujbal, or recently, Sarath Reddy, who turns an approver, who gave rupees 45 lakh uh, 45 crore in electoral bonds to the bjp and subsequently gets a regular bail in this very case when he was called the mastermind before and he gets a regular bail on the basis of a back pain and the ed does not oppose the ed did not oppose to a back no, pain i'll come to the chronology of now, mr reddy also i asked no, 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 man, agree. Man, just a minute i will you, come to the chronology of mr reddy but i asked you a question which again you need to answer. The perception of a chief minister who's in ED custody and says, I will not resign, I will run the government in Nasi from jail. What's the message? I think uh, the message, I was on a previous show of India today uh, earlier and there was a sea voter survey conducted by you and the message is very clear in that sea voter survey that the people realize that this witch hunt against the Aam Admi Party is only to stop Arvind Kejriwalji and Arvind Kejriwalji has made it clear that nothing will stop him. The BJP cannot stop him. That's the message that he's given. Now, uh, coming back to the case, Rajdeep Ji, because your viewers should know that this entire case is based on mere hearsay. After two years of hounding us, keeping our 
top leaders behind bars. The ED has not been able to recover a single penny, no proceeds of crime, which is the singular most important component in a PMLA case. Now, then I'll go back to the amendments and you know why it is becoming difficult unless the ED goes and submits to the court that they lost the file or they don't have an objection if there's a back pain in case of Sarath Reddy. So those are different things. Now also, what is most important is uh, the people today do see that people like uh, Sanjay Saroj who are accused of terror funding, no less, by, have joined the BJP yesterday. They joined the BJP yesterday. He was accused of uh, uh, terror funding in India on instructions of Pakistan and he joins the BJP. That is acceptable to the BJP. But we are behind bars where no recovery has been made, made against us, where the investigation is ongoing and we are behind bars. So people can see through what is happening.